Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this one, I'm gonna be making a cork indicator from start to finish. We're gonna be doing some lathing, um, you know, sanding this thing and uh, putting the top on. It's gonna be great, um, so stay with us, guys. All right, so I've got a hole in the top of my champagne cork. Just drill this hole according to your uh, drill truck size. And all right, let's get this on the chuck. All right, now with this guy on the chuck, we can start on the turning process. This doesn't have to be perfectly plumb, and uh, you will notice that it's going to be super rough when you start turning it initially, but we're going to um, basically turn it with sandpaper after because this cork is so uh, porous that um, sandpaper actually is, is going to be our final step of shaping um, and of course refining um, the smoothest of this. All right, let's get into it. All right, so there you have it, a rough outline of that uh, bead shape. And we'll refine this with sandpaper. All right, so I've got some 220 right here. Um, it's just a strip, small strip of 220. Um, and that's, that's pretty much all you're gonna need. Um, you can sand through the grits with this, but it's really not gonna make uh, too much of a difference. Um, what you don't want to do is start too heavy because this uh, this cork is extremely porous and uh, you can remove a lot of material pretty quickly. All right, and you can already see that that's um, uh, pretty nicely shaped, uh, but we have a little bit of cleanup to do right here. All right, y'all, and that pretty much does it for the lathing part. I'm just gonna cut this off and then uh, we'll come for the next step. All right, so now I'm just gonna get a little piece of sandpaper and sand this guy um, flat right there. 
All right, so we'll put a small hole uh, in the indicator. Um, if you notice, this is the flat side and uh, that's just where we cut it off and sanded it. And then I put a small hole in there and you know, about halfway down. So we're gonna go with uh, more kind of a classic, original, whatever you wanna call it, kind of style. Um, I, you can probably buy airlock tops for these um, online, but we're gonna go with the fly line. And basically the idea is, of course you cut this a little bit shorter, and then this goes in here and you glue it in and you know, ta da da. It's, uh, it's kind of your standard indicator. So basically, simple enough. I cut this guy to length. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my favorite glue, Gorilla Glue. It's awesome. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, and then, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna squirt this on my bench. All right, so I'm just gonna run that through there, pick up some glue, and then just kind of double this over. those contact and this stuff is um, it's really good stuff it it'll dry pretty quick once you have those in contact um, and then you can cut this uh, to length um, and then I always find that the more you have sticking out up here um, it's kind of uh, the worse it is so I'm gonna take off a little bit more here. Then I'm gonna, gonna kinda angle these guys. Just like, just like that, if you can see that, perfect. All right, let's see how that fits. And honestly, I want less. All right, that's looking good. All right, so you probably anticipated my next uh, step. Just grab some of that super glue, put it on there. You know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did please give it a like thumbs up um, shoot me a comment um, I love reading them and again thank you so much for all your support of this channel um, and all your comments all your you know subscribing uh, everything it's been amazing to see uh, all the support um, so thank you so much guys and with that I'll see you next time guys